Welcome everyone to what is now the finale, the finito, the final part of our Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke journey. I'm your host Psycho Enigma, and now in the previous episode we battled Lance and we defeated him soundly after he was a colossal anus and killed flippers. Um, sad moment I know, but we have to soldier on, we're going to have to leave her behind in our heart. She was, she was the replacement for Alfonso. Um, and she will be very missed. Um, she did a good job for what she was needed for, but alas, didn't make it. We have one final battle left. And with the rage coming into the battle at the death of poor Flippers, I feel sorry for this man. The champion of the Kanto region. Hey Enigma, I was looking forward to seeing you Enigma. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Enigma, do you know what that means? I'll tell you, I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Epic Champion music! It's pretty cool. So we have one final battle left. Champion Lord Dodas would like to battle. He's going to start out with his Heracross, and we are leading the charge with Justin. I was not expecting a Heracross, it has to be said. We're going to T-Wave it. And we're going to get Justin out of there, because I can't have him going down. I mean, good, the full paralysis. This is good. He goes for a Fighting-type move on a Flying-type. Uh, then again, no, Flying is four times super effective. We'll go into Travis for it. And I'm sure Travis will be able to take any kind of move that he has. Fully paralyzed again! This is great news, this is good. Right, the fly. And we're kind of on an even level with the champion, whereas I do believe in... We were under-leveled in um, Pokemon Emerald Randomizer, but but either way. And I just saw that this Heracross had Rock Slide, which um, has made me glad that he's gone down now. So this is good. One Pokemon down, so we're 5 on 5 now. He's got a Metagross? Really? A Metagross? Right, we're staying in with Travis here. Because we've got two moves super effective against it. We've got a fire type move. And we have Earthquake. And it's level 69. And that's quite strong. So we'll go for the Flame Throw. We can fish for a burn with this hopefully. Because Metagross is a physical attacker. Or we can just kill it in one Flame Throw. That, that's ideal as well. This team's going to be entirely different I think. To his team just before we uh, just before we took him down before. And Ampharos. Now we do have Earthquake. Which is super effective against Ampharos. But we're part flying. And I'm not prepared to take damage. So uh, we're going to go into Kenneth. Who if you saw the previous episode. Kenneth decimated Lance's Dragonites. We, uh, we just tore him a new one. And I think we're going to have to do the same here. Just to Lord Dot S. Just to, just to show him. The monster within. This this cute little tail glow. What does that do? What do you do? That's what you do! Oh god, psychic, kill it! Okay, I was gonna I'll save the story for when this Ampharos is dead. Nah, uh, he's gone for it again. I, I uh, that amount of HP is difficult to tell whether he hit whether he'll heal or not. Okay, no, he's got leftovers, I think. That's definitely out of healing range. Definitely. Right, thank you. I was worried for a very brief moment there, but Ampharos is down to Kenneth. Uh, but inside this, this cute little pink fluffy kitty lies a monster of evil and the Hound Doom. And I would love to have a, a showdown between our Hound Dooms, but quite frankly, Jane is not on the level for taking down this Hound Doom as Travis is. And Travis's moveset has made me think, why have I left him out of the team for the whole thing? Level 70. That's a strong Houndoom. The Earthquake, I'm, it's not stabbed. I I know Houndooms are frail, but I don't think it'll be a one-hit KO. No, thought not. The Houndoom's going for Crunch. And he's probably going to do a large amount of damage. Not as much as I was expecting. Um, Dragon Claw? Yeah, because he's going to heal, so hopefully a Dragon Claw will get him down into the range of which Earthquake will be able to kill him, because we will outspeed. I personally think this was going to be harder than it is currently showing. And I I've seen the rematch, and I'm glad I don't have to do the rematch. Um, if you want to do the rematch, I won't do any spoilers in case you can play the after game of this. But if you do want spoilers, 
just search up um, Fire and Omega Champion rematch. It's it's unbelievable. It's just absolutely mad. And Jinx, uh, the final or uh, well, his starter Pokemon originally, and Jane can dealing with Jinx. Jane can beat Jinx easily. He says, what level is Jinx now? Level 72. He's got a 7 level advantage on us. So, uh, we're going to have a crunch. It probably won't kill it straight away. Don't ask me why I didn't go for Flamethrower. I just felt like biting some ice. A special defense fell, which is nice. It's always good. And I do believe this is going to be leftovers or a berry. No, it's a white herb. Also, it's status full Psycho Boost. Doesn't affect Jane. Bro, you got nothing on me. I'm the best trainer in the world. You're pathetic. You're down. You're done. What's left? What have you got left that can stand up to me now? I'm actually speaking to the game. And Venusaur. Pff. Travis. You're a Kanto starter. Venusaur's a Kanto starter. Show this Pokemon why we're the best. And I thought this showdown was going to be epic. I thought it was going to be a struggle. But if you were looking for that, like I was... I, I sadly I think I've ruined it. Venusaur's down and we're the champion of Kanto. <sighs> Insert smug grin. And Lord Dot S has fallen. Excellent. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become League Champ, my reign's over already? It's not fair. At least he's not looking smug in the, in that pose. He's actually looking like he wants to fight. But, um, it's done. Why? Why did I lose? I never made a mistake raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Enigma. Don't, don't ask me where Oak's voice came from like that. I can't be offered to do voices. So you've won. Sincerely congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander. I, I didn't leave with Charmander. I left with, um... Ella kid, but I mean he's right here, Justin. You know my my pride and joy. Along with Kenneth, Kenneth's probably joint team favourite. But anyway, uh, Enigma, you have come of age. Yeah, I'm probably. I mean this this series has taken me a good few months, but it's over now. I've enjoyed it though. I I enjoy. Cause this is my first hack. It's a kind of hack. Um, obviously. Pokemon Emerald Randomizer was just a program that uh, randomizes the Pokemon, but th this was my first actual. It's a. It's the main game. It's still Fire Red, obviously, with hard and difficulty and and such. It's kind of a hack, but it's not like one of those where the whole region's been redone and whatnot. Enigma, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Enigma, come with me. It's just the music. Like the Pallet Town theme, but just slowed down and saddened. <coughs> Congratulations, Enigma. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. The Pokemon League champions are honoured for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Enigma, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Enigma. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. And we've done it. That's it. Fire Red Omega is done. We won. Obviously, it said saving them, but obviously it hasn't saved. Because as I said before, with the save state issue, it means I can't do any after game. But honestly, I'm okay with that. And here's the team: Flippers, you you died, beautiful sacrifice. Zoe, you were quite frankly useless. I, Flippers did her part most definitely, but it was really a four-team job. Justin was with me from start to finish, and Jane was with me since Viridian City. Travis was a last-minute addition that, quite frankly, surprised the hell out of me. And Kenneth, when we got that Eevee in Celadon, I decided I wanted a, an Espeon. I've never gone back. Just possibly the most powerful Espeon I've ever raised. So we leave. And uh, there's, there's Lord Dot S running away crying. He is going to be Oak, and he's all going to be like, going to look at you, going to look at you. Like a look of respect, he's going to walk off, and then we've got our guy, and he's going to be like, yeah, peace, Pokemon League. I'm the champion. Goodbye. What can I say? What a run this has been. It's 
been full of heartbreak. I've, I've lost more Pokemon in this run than I did in Emerald Randomizer. Um, it was quite frankly amazing. I, I enjoyed this a lot actually. I, I could never wait to get on and record for you guys. Uh, sadly this is the end of this run uh, and now I'm going to pitch ideas back and forth for my next run. I'm going to pitch those with you now actually. Basically I've, I've wanted to do a DS game since the start of this channel. Um, and now I used to record with Fraps on uh, Visual Boy Advance because that's all I had back then. This is why I did these games but halfway through this run I came to acquisition of uh, Camtasia Studio 8 which is a screen recorder so it does mean that I can now do DS games um, and I'm big Gen 5 fan if you didn't know like Gen 5 and I'm stoked for Gen 6 look at Travis look at him beautiful so my next game I have one of two choices now I'm gonna be doing Pokemon Black over Pokemon White purely because I just I think blacks are I don't know why I just want to do black um, basically, here's what I can do. I can either do Pokemon Black, the standard one, as a as like a walkthrough where I pick, you know, I decide what Pokemon I want to catch, um, or you guys can pitch suggestions to me. You know, we we choose the Pokemon and we'll do it as a walkthrough. Um, alternatively to that, there is a hack Drayano made Pokemon Blaze Black, and it's difficult. It's very difficult. Um, Totally revamped difficulty. You can catch all 649, I think it's 649 Pokemon in the game. In the wild, it's it's madness. And I can do that as a Nuzlocke um, for increased difficulty. Now I'm going to do one of those. I'm going to put up a video um, to for you guys to decide how you want the screen set up to be. If you want to see both screens, if you want to see just one, uh, like the top screen where the action is it's bigger. Um, I'm gonna try and look to do video templates now so I can display what badges I have, what my team looks like. I'm gonna look to do that, see if I can get some people to help me with that because I would love to. I'm not I'm not that brilliant with Photoshop, um, but anyone that's got Photoshop out there that really fancies making me a template that thinks they could do it, honestly, if you can, that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Lord Dotes, you got beat, bro. Just, just, just get rid of that Pokeball, you're useless. Uh, but I don't know what I'm leaning towards. The Nuzlocke or the the walkthrough, uh, and then of course after I've done that, whatever one I choose, I will then do um, the second version. So Black Two or Blaze Black Two, I will do either one of those, which, whichever one I follow up from. Um, so if I do regular Black walkthrough, I'll do a Black Two walkthrough. If I do a Blaze Black Nuzlocke, I will do a Blaze Black Two Nuzlocke. Uh, and in the future after that, who knows where that will go? Uh, looking forward to hopefully you know hopefully we'll grow, we'll gain some viewers, we'll gain. A small little community of, uh, of little enigmas. That's what I'm going to call you guys. You're my enigmas. Um, you're with me on this. And I think that I would love to do some collaborations with anyone, quite frankly. You know, if you feel as if you want to join me in, in the run, you know, just join along or play along. Just do it. Just honestly, it's great fun. And uh, as, as our character runs, runs back home to Pallet Town, and as we come up to Pallet Town here, I would like to thank everyone for their support and their comments and their likes, the subscribers, I would like to thank everyone. This is not the end for the channel, but this is the end for Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. Take care everyone, and I'll see you in Series 3.